Buenos dias and welcome to Spanish Basics. In this module, I'll be speaking to you about verbs. This is an introductory module on this particular topic. Now, I've divided the topic into five areas. The first is we're going to discuss the verb types. Then we'll move into the discussion of the infinitive. Following that will be a discussion on the purpose in conjugating verbs. After that will be the verb conjugation rules. And lastly will be regarding verb conjugation, I'll give you a matrix and an illustration. Now, regarding verb types, in Spanish there are three types of verbs, each distinguished by their endings. There's AR verbs, there's EI verbs, and there's IR verbs. So, in this slide, we're going to introduce you to the infinitive. All Spanish verbs have an infinitive form. For example, hablar in English means to speak. Comer in English means to eat. Escribir in English means to write. Think of the infinitive form as having two parts. There's a base and there's an ending. The ending being, once again, either AR, ER, or IR. When we use an infinitive in a sentence, the verb ending is altered, that is, conjugated, to use the correct form of the verb for the usage. Now, we're going to review the purpose in conjugating verbs on this slide. Verb conjugation is a change in the form of the verb to express a different person, for example, first, second, or third person, a different tense. Tense refers to time. In English, in English there are six tenses three of which are present, past, and future. In Spanish, there are 14 tenses. Conjugation is also used to express a number, either singular or plural. It's also used to express mood, that is to express a statement, a question, a conditional statement, subjective statement, or an imperative statement. And conjugation is also used to express voice, either active or passive. In this module, we're just going to be discussing the first three person, tense, and number. Mood and voice will be discussed in other modules. These are the verb conjugation rules. Now, regular verbs are conjugated with a consistent pattern. Now, having said that, there are irregular verbs, but that's not going to be discussed in this module. Irre irregular verbs will be discussed in another module. So, let's focus on regular verbs, and let's focus on, on, on the present tense rules. So, the, the infinitive ending, as, as a starting point for the rules, the infinitive ending is removed. We remove the AR, the ER, and the IR. And then we replace the infinitive ending with a unique pattern. The ending for all AR verbs is O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, and AN. The ending for all ER verbs is O, S, E, Emos, ace, and n. The ending for all IR verbs is o, s, e, emos, is, and n. Now, let's get more specific. So, here I'm providing you with what I call a verb conjugation matrix. We're going to focus on uh, the present tense conjugation of hablar. Now, once again, the rule is we drop the AR ending here and then add either o, as, a, or amos, ais, or an. So that would translate to what you see here. There is hablo, hablas, habla, hablamos, hablais, hablan. Now, let's move ahead to the next slide and I'll show you how this can be expanded. So in this slide, we combine the, pr the pronoun matrix with the conjugation matrix. As you may recall, the, program, the pronoun uh, matrix was discussed in module three. Now we're going to marry that concept with the conjugation matrix that we just reviewed in the prior slide. So when we do that, here's what we get. We get yo hablo, tu hablas, él habla, ella habla, usted habla, nosotros hablamos, vosotros habláis, ellos hablan, ellas hablan, and ustedes hablan. 
at this point, we're getting close to the end of this module. And I want to switch your thoughts. We're going to be just adding a little bit more to your vocabulary here. So this is these are the months of the year. So if you could repeat after me as I as I review this with you. January is Enero. February is Febrero. March is Marzo. April is Abril. May is Mayo. June is Junio. July is Julio. August is Agosto. September is Septiembre. October is Octubre. November is Noviembre. December is Diciembre. Now, the last slide here is a simple refrain. Entre las gentes hay mil gustos diferentes. Among the people, there are a thousand different tastes. We've just finished this module. I want to thank you for watching Spanish Basics. If you can, uh, please subscribe to the Spanish Basics channel and you'll receive notification for new modules as they're developed. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.